what is going on, ladies and gentlemen. A woman's imprint is extremely important. First and foremost, shout out Phil Master, Body Game General, Ron Wills. You know what I'm talking about? He was the first person I ever heard talk about this in an original video. is linked down in the description. A woman's, so what a woman's imprint is, you know what I'm talking about, is basically that is who she is emotionally attached to. This is who she is going to be almost forever thinking about. And young men, this is extremely important for you guys to know. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. I'm Tarek and I'm going to be talking my stuff. So check me out. Join me. So as Ron Wills said, you know, this is a culmination of the first two to three guys that a young lady gets with, right? Um, usually from my personal experience, just, just from my personal experience, I knew a lot of young ladies that lost their V card at age 14, 15, stuff like that. Basically kids, right? And the first th two to three guys that they mess with is pretty much going to shape them for the rest of their life, almost. It's pretty much whether they know it or not, subconsciously, right? Or consciously, consciously or subconsciously. It's really subconscious in some sense because I, sometimes I don't even feel like the chick really realizes it. But what happens is this young lady has multiple partners because we know nowadays that promiscuity is at an all-time high and these young ladies, they participate in this willingly. They enjoy it, right? Or even if they don't enjoy it, they feel kind of pressured to. You know how men are pressured to, you got to be a player. You got to get these bodies. Same thing. Now they're doing that to women. So now women have this mindset of, oh, if I don't catch catch these bodies, I'm not I'm not pretty or I'm not validated, right? So these young ladies, they accumulate different men, different spirits. As they accumulate different men, they will be stuck on these guys for almost forever. And what this does is it destroys any chance of a relationship and fighting that imprint, right? Fighting that imprint that she has is like an uphill battle up shit's Creek, right? You're going up a mountain with ice and no snow boots. Okay. That's, that's almost what it's like. Fellas, this, this is the main reason. This is one of the main, this is probably one of the most important videos that I'm going to make. Honestly, I feel like this is the most difficult thing to surpass. It is, it destroys relationships. It destroys any chance of you and this chick having a long lasting relationships. Is it impossible? No. Is it extremely hard for most cases? Yes. So I made a video called most women hit the wall at age 25. And like I said, this is because they accumulate all of these bodies. They accumulate all of these energies inside of them. All these men leave their mark. It's like leaving a mark on their territory. Every time a young man penetrates a chick, right? And most of these men have no good intentions. Most men out here are promiscuous, just like women is. You know, you hear it all in these music and social media, you know, F this B word and uh, I have a side chick and all that. This creates more and more toxicity. And this young lady is going to have a hell of a time, especially as older as she gets. In my other video, I said 25. But to be honest with you, in all reality, it really takes one guy. If the first dude that she was with, she was just like madly in love and he was piping her, you know what I mean? And they were together for a good little while. And she was a kid. She was a kid. And she she was going to have this man in the back of her head forever. Okay. And it's like every other guy after him is a rebound. This is basically what happens. Every other guy after her imprints are a never ending cycle of rebounds. This is where we get the C carousel, the, the cock carousel. Right. And I've been seeing this for the, the, the longest chick hopping from guy to guy to guy in high school. I've seen young ladies hop from one athlete to this dude, to a dope boy, to getting a train ran on her in school. Right. We've 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 all heard stories like this. And the, the older she gets, the more bitter she's going to become, 
the more difficult it's going to become to fight this imprint. This chick is going to be chasing low-life losers for pretty much the rest of her life. And it's going to be a never-ending cycle. Right? It's going to be a never-ending cycle because that imprint has a hold on her. It's an emotional attachment. The men that imprinted her have a, a claw on her. You know, they have a stronghold on her. And the the I've been dealing with young ladies and I just sit down and listen to them talk. They will go on and on about their ex-boyfriends. As soon as I hear this, I know I can't deal with this chick with anything serious, right? I cannot have a serious relationship with this young lady because she will sit there and talk about her exes. Oh, he did this. Let me give y'all a little free game, fellas. If a chick talks about her ex, especially in a negative way, this is how bad, net, uh, backward it is, especially if it's negative, she still has an attachment to him. Believe it or not, if she speaks on her ex in a negative way, she really wants him back because that strong emotion, that strong emotion of, of her being hurt, it keeps her attached to him. It keeps her wanting him. It keeps her wondering, what if, what if we all heard about that thing called the one that got away? Well, guess what? That's basically what an imprint is. It's, it's the one that got away. She's going to be thinking about this guy for ages and you coming along. That's why I be telling you guys, make sure she is attracted to you. Make sure your sexual attraction is sky high for you, right? And it's not only about that, but that needs to be the foundation. That needs to be the foundation. She needs to be actually sexually attracted to you. And of course, your character does come into play. That is just as important. But you have to make sure that sexual attraction level is there. That's why I'd be telling you guys, hit the gym. Hit, you know what I'm saying? Get your style on point. All that good. Get your, get your confidence on point. Get your sex game on point, right? Because fighting against that imprint, man, that's, that is an uphill battle. And these chicks will be thinking about this guy for ages to come. And if they're not thinking about this guy, it affects them mentally. This is why they get bitter. This is why, you know, they, they go through boyfriends like no one's business. They be going from guy to guy to guy to guy. And... They just can't seem to hold down a stable relationship because they have all these energies inside of them. They, these guys have energies. It prevents them from being interested in a long, long-term relationship. You, you know, she gets with a guy and the guy is usually not attracted. She's usually not attracted to this guy, but he's the best she could do, right? He's, he's usually, no offense, I'm not even gonna, gonna be, try to be offensive, but he's like a sucker. You know, he's willing to pay for her, pay for her kids. He's willing to kiss the, the ground that she walks on. And she's not interested in him. She's just using him for his resources. Then she gets bored. Then she cheats on this guy. You know, this is all due to her imprint. This is all due to her past traumas. Okay? Because every time a young lady engages in intercourse, this is trauma. She is receiving trauma, believe it or not, every time. And like I said, most of the dudes that she's messing with have no good intentions. These guys do not want a relationship. These guys do not want anything serious. They just want to pipe her and then move on to the next one. And that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, every guy that she gets with is like a rebound after a rebound on top of a rebound. I've seen it way too much. It's a chick at work that I knew personally. She went through like five boyfriends in two years, dog. And I'm not even counting the guys that she was just being casually willy-nilly with. The chick is, and she got married. She got married, she was like 25 years old. She got married, divorced after like six six or seven months. I'm, I'm looking at her like, I'm looking at the IG. She's like, I'm married now. I'm like, man, I don't know what this, I, this guy got himself into something that he don't even know about. Right, because everyone at the job knew what it knew what time it was. You feel me? So you guys need to watch out for a woman's imprint. It is extremely important. If you sense that she's still hung up on her ex, if you sense that she keeps repeatedly talking about her ex over and over again, just cut the ties, bro. Just keep it at a distance. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying it's completely hopeless, but if you're willing to go through that, more power to you. Right. But I'm just letting you guys know so you don't fall into a situationship where you'll get fucked over and hurt. Anyway, with that being said, I'm out.
Peace.